healthy changes trick we have on last week. So again, I even want to be gripping with my strong hand. Okay, because the card controls that. Very hard for me to take them down. So I'll always be making the grip with my weaker hand. So if I'm right handed, I can have my right leg forward. Uh, again, Carl's going to be, you know, I, I want these lapels. This is what I want. He's, he's going to be like, like boxing. Anytime I'm coming in to make a grip, he's going to be palming them off and we're controlling this space here. But let's just say make the grip and I have it. I can use it defensively because Carl will want to make the grip on my lapel and I'm using my elbow to stop it. comes underneath. But he'll also want to make a grip with the other hand, so I'll be palming it down for the wrist. I don't want him getting two hands on this, and then he can pop it off, which is last week's move. So even if he's one hand on it, he tries to make that secondary grip, I'll be palming it down until I make my grip. And again, it's whatever you're comfortable with. I prefer this cross grip. Some people saying that's illegal in judo, I don't know. If it is, you know, just grab there then, or, or grab over the top, or, or the underhook's fine as well. We're going to look at... Um, Last time when he made this grip, um, sometimes he'll make this cross grip and that's slightly harder to break because the angle's a little bit off and he's got more of the lapel and if I try to actually pop that off like last time, it can be difficult. So sometimes a better way to um, break it off is my left hand's going to grab the lapel somewhere between the armpit and the shoulder and now from there, when I get into my position, I'm going to find the lapel and then I'm going to step back and grip this back. Okay. I can use my hand or my elbow to push this and then I'm looking for the grip again. So again, uh, you know, when I have these grips, this is good and we'll, we'll, we'll show the walk on the next move and the off balance. But anytime I'm here, maybe Carl breaks that grip off and he makes a strong grip, I can't throw him. Right? This is when you get into a stalemate. If he's got grips and I've got grips, very hard. So I have to address this. And if he, if he has this cross grip and he break this off, I want to use my left hand somewhere between the armpit and the shoulder, here. Okay. I'll find the lapel, and I'm stepping back and ripping this back. Okay. And now I can use my hand to push this back. Again, cars are going to make a grip on the lapel. I need not, and then I find my grip, and I'm in that way. Start to work my game again. You can use this same type of grip break as you say, we're here and it was a straight grip like last week's move and maybe I try to turn my knuckles up and, and pop it off but I just can't get it off. I can do that same movement so I'm here, only this time I'll be grabbing the other lapel, lapel obviously and I'll rip it this way to break it off. And again, this can come into two on ones and stuff which we'll be looking at but for the sake of the drill, I'm just going to pan this back and find my, my cross grip again. Okay. So one more time on that. Car has that cross grip, okay. so my left hand is going to make the grip on the lapel, somewhere where I can push and put pressure or tension in the arm. My, secondary, <coughs> my other hand is going to find the lapel and then I just step back, rip it back and then for the sake of the drill we'll just palm it off and find the cross grip. Or if it's just a straight grip, I can do the same thing, only this time I'll be pulling the lapel, don't, don't be pulling this time, push it. <laughs> and here, okay. Rip it back, and then I can use my hand and I'm back into finding this grip. This whole system is based on getting that cross grip and getting that sleeve control. And anytime he's making grips on me, I'm not going to be taking someone down until I have the inside space with my grip. Okay. So let's play that, guys. Keep it really simple.